hello guys so we are going to see lab session 2 google cloud data flow so we are taking the same example we are just going to add some uh, some few more inf uh, information for uh, to related with uh, google uh, cloud data flow same import same import and then same function we defined over there and then here we are adding project name and then uh, bucket name so to find the project name you see uh, oops G cloud config list okay this is our project name okay already copied same one after that we need to give bucket name okay we can create same bucket also if not exist storage this storage is like a uh, uh, hdfs okay for google cloud so we are going to create bucket here because the data flow it will access that input data input files from storage only okay what is that default storage classes multi regional regional nearby near line cold line so this information i will explain in, uh, i will explain this all the information on different uh, video okay create okay we have created this bucket and what else this is the uh, the the data flow information because we are running this code in code on cloud uh, so this bucket information we mentioned uh, this job name you can give any name this is to save main session and staging yes we need to create staging location inside the bucket okay what create folder paste it create and then we need to create temp location also in that same bucket create folder paste it create after runner and uh, this is very important because we are going to uh, submit this code on this runner right yes so this part is clear and this part is clear now this is existing i mean you just we copy paste this information right it almost same see so it almost same not exactly same because we need to we are we need to change input path also here level we here level we mentioned this local path now this is storage path okay inside data engg1 data engg1 there is no input directory output directory so we need to create input output to directory input create create folder again output create okay now what else inside input directory we need to create um, input I mean any file name with dot txt file okay right now this input directory is empty we already created one from my local desktop upload that files this one open okay it's done uploaded go back on step and then output directory it's empty okay because output directory right copy this code copy it and go to shell now create n a n o nano not for local now on cloud enter paste and close yes enter and give execute permission yes python okay click here so this is the data flow page 
now it's nothing it's empty and this output bucket it's empty enter here oops what it says no files found based on file pattern run track right see our code is good because right this path information already exists I'm going to make sure whether this path is exist or not G S U T I L G S U T I L L S paste yes. what no object yeah yeah we m we are made one mistake I mean we give input we give data in input right no why twice let's open the code nano cloud data inch on one okay right see what mistake I have made is this is bucket okay this is bucket inside these are this all are directory okay but what I did is I already mentioned bucket okay this zero going to replace this, bu this bucket name after that I have again I mentioned this bucket name so I need to remove it how to remove it go to the cursor same output path also remove this bucket name and control X yes enter now run it let's see now it should work yes it's working it's taking Apache beam and then it's triggered there also go to just refresh this okay you know it refresh it's automatically refreshed in background see this is the flow and check this output also output directory okay it's still in progress it will come in few seconds after this complete and we are using small files so it will take uh, maybe two three minutes let's wait let's wait bucket and output right yes it's still running so till the time you can see the code we just mentioned we, we just importing these two uh, packages one is Apache pack beam another one is regular expression so regular expression information we already discussed we are just finding this import in import string from the file that was it does and then here project name and then bucket name and this is the data flow information this project name and uh, job name here and save session and location staging location and temp location and this is the runner is important data flow runner we are using it and this is same from previous one which we ran uh, on local and we just replace this path because it's in storage so gs is gs colon slash you can give that absolute path also if you want uh, sorry it's a absolute path only and then start txt you can mention you can uh, you can mention I mean a number of files but wh whatever uh, has dot txt extension okay output path okay output path I we have to yeah we already may modify it right okay it, it should be there we already modified over there rest all same okay it's still running okay it's going to complete these two part done let's get this is reading input file and this is transforming that uh, oh, that input inf input string from the file and now it's writing so 
let's see output file should be here see we got the output file it's still writing yeah it's done go here let's open output file yeah it's copied those input f import f information open second one yes cool open third one cool and here go back in case if any issues or anything just check just click this log in case if you miss to trigger that uh, if you try if you forgot to install apache beam then it will say clearly in log if you scroll down you can see more information cool we are done great so guys if you have any doubts or anything related with this python python uh, related uh, python code how to submit this python code uh, on this data flow with any i mean with more ideas if you want any other information if you want to explain anything in more detail like uh, uh, how to uh, about shell script and then about hdfs anything please contact through our website our website is pathwaytips.com thank you